Trump, are you ready to go to jail? President Trump. Like most people when they get out of court, Donald Trump went to a Cuban restaurant to have a post arraignment party, I guess. But one person wasn't really feeling the festivities. Her name is Sophie Alexander, she's of Sky News. And you heard the question that she asked, are you ready for jail or prison? One of those things, about the same as far when it comes to what he's actually gonna get. But look, as she got shoved out, she was called a stupid bitch. Jesus. Well, uh, let's get a quick replay of the moment that everyone was like, yo, there's someone in here that's not kissing Trump's ass. Let's watch this. President Trump, are you ready to go to jail? <laughs> what do we do? This is a problem. What's going on? We're Everyone's supposed to be kind to the guy who we're learning all of the things that he broke laws with documents in his house that he lied about over and over and over again. This is the time to kiss ass, well, maybe not. What they did do in the meantime, because they must have felt someone slip through the cracks. This was the scene before all this went down. As one point out, Secret Service was prepping Versailles Bakery guests for a surprise Trump visit. Apparently they kicked out all the press. Making sure that no one could, I guess, ask a question because that was definitely the wrong thing for uh, Sophie Alexander to do. But she found her way in though. Uh, one more, because there was the guy who screamed at her and called her a bitch. Let's see that really fast because people are trying to figure out who this guy is. This is the moment, as Sophie pointed out, that uh, a man screamed stupid bitch in my face after I publicly questioned Donald Trump. For all those asking, I got out perfectly safely. That was actually my first question was whether or not she got out safely. Because once they shoved her out, I assume some folks inside were expecting that mob of more supporters to jump on her as well. But also, who is that guy? Did you guys recognize him? Well, you know, it doesn't take very long to recognize folks. It was Michael Caputo. Remember that guy's name? Uh, he was an aide with the Trump administration, he's a Trump official, and he actually confirmed it here on Twitter. And he said, yes. Tell your mommy she left her dog-eared and underlined copy of Communist Manifesto in the booth. And she's banned for life from Versailles. Also, she smelled like feet. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> I guess you told them, Michael, especially after you called her a bitch and sent her out of the room. So who's Michael Caputo? Actually, you know what? Let's go with the first half of this, uh, uh, Ben. Uh, just the shoving out, Michael Caputo, a Trump official, which makes sense that he was there, uh, shoved her out and called her names. Is I guess this is an intimidation factor. No one else should show up because next time it might be much worse for you. My opinion on this is stupid bitch for president. This is what I want her in the White House. She is an American hero. Mm -hmm. Obviously, she probably has a name and doesn't prefer to be called that. So let's find out her name because she is Sophie. Amazing. Sophie, these Sophie people Alexander. that put themselves on the line to, to harass Trump, the man who literally is trying to destroy our democracy, the person that ran towards the motorcade dressed in a prison outfit, vice president. I want these people, they're iconic, they are brilliant humans and they're brave to go into a room like this full of people who the only thing that makes it not as scary as it could be is that we know these people are full of bluster and they're mostly fake tough people but no one likes to be called names and shoved out of a place and she did that for us so thank you Sophie well I mean I guess you could probably assume if you ask him that question he's not going to feel very good about it but I mean maybe she was even expecting it but she did get a question and sometimes something has to permeate all the noise in the walls that are put up around him to protect him from other folks that understand what he's done and then what he also openly says he plans on doing but by the way a little bit more about Michael Caputo because why is he in there and he thinks that someone asking a question is of course out of order yeah it was a rude question I'll admit to that. Who is Michael Caputo? Well, uh, the uh, they talked about him before when he was in the Trump administration. Remember this guy? He's a federal official who interfered with the CDC reports on COVID-19. Oh, and he's got these deep ties to Russia. That's what this report at least said over on Salon. Here's a couple moments from that. In September, Politico reported that Caputo, 
who was an assistant secretary of the US Department of Health and Human Services, interfered with the CDC and prevention's reports on COVID-19 in order to make them conform to Trump's claims about the pandemic. That sounds pretty safe, sounds like he has people's interests at heart. Maybe some of those folks that were surrounding him in the restaurant lost someone during COVID and maybe they listened to the lies that he was helping form for the administration. There's more, Caputo and journalist Mary Pappenfuss reports is drawing scrutiny for another reason, his ties to the Kremlin as was pointed out in that headline. He lived in Russia for six years, served as an advisor to former Russian President Boris Yeltsin from 95 to 99 before Putin became Russia's president. That's who Michael Caputo is. So I guess he thinks, yo, you can shove people out, get the hell out of here. Hopefully the mob will pick you up. But then again, it's all just more thuggery as we've heard Donald Trump mention earlier in another block about how these thugs in the Biden administration are doing the wrong thing and coming after me. It's constant and it's over and over and over again. They want you to not see who it is that they actually surround themselves with. Last thoughts here, Ben, before we jump out of here. I'm not, of course, surprised in the least that anyone surrounding Trump and working with Trump has Russian ties. That's what they put in the job postings, you know, <laughs> proficient with Microsoft Word, Excel, Russian ties a plus. So I think that's always nice. Um, and listen, I'm not one for bathroom humor. I really, truly don't like it. But since the man is throwing aspersions and throwing gross nicknames at people, I think from now on, this man's name should be Kapupu. 